Good evening guys, Daniel here from Single Malt Jack. Welcome back to another episode. We, we had so much fun filming the last episode. I'm sitting here with my fireman cousin Steve. We decided fire's roaring, why not? We've had a couple of beers, let's do another one. back again Steve again uh, thanks for having me everyone really appreciate the time and uh, yeah uh, thanks for coming back now we we appreciate we appreciate a single mold Jack we appreciate you Steve <laughs> and I'm loving uh, your new table okay I just wanted to make another mention of that it's fantastic it fits everything that we need it's upcycling it's rustic it's uh, recycled it's it's the it's the whole it's the real deal as you can see and we're also loving your hair he's, he's put it out <laughs> of the ponytail I think it looks fantastic. Oh, just letting it all hang out, mate. Just here for the viewers, uh, making sure that they know that we're keeping it real. Yeah. So, essentially, it's the last weekend in May, so we're we're hitting winter on Monday. Uh, so we're getting a bit of warmth of this fire. It's cranking at the moment. You know, we're just having such a good time. Um, the sun's just setting now at the moment in the background. Um, so I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll get through this review. We we might even have one more review left in us. I I, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, look, when you're having this much fun, why not? Can I just uh, yeah. say to everyone again about this upcycling thing? Yeah, you can. Yeah. Like, yeah. this chair that we're sitting on, it's an yeah. upcycled chair that we made from something else that was sitting around for years. And like, what are we going to do with it? Oh, mm. let's make it in something we can use. It's, it's an old uh, vehicle chair yeah. from an old school uh, Land Cruiser truck that I once had. And like, oh, yeah. it's actually quite comfortable. If and what was, what was the Land Cruiser it. called? Just, oh, just Land, do a shout out. Yeah, okay, Land Cruiser is called the Spartan. It was yeah. the Spartan. It's been sold now to a great guy called Steve as well. And hi, yeah. Steve, if you're watching out there, I uh, hope you're taking care of the old boy. Yeah. And um, so while, cycling's while... great. I just want to say this uh, table, it came out of nowhere. We had it laying around and what do we need? We needed a table, so we created it here. It's rustic, it's old, it's uh, laying around and we created something out of nothing. And right. that's all upcycling is. And it's a great movement to get involved in, honestly. Whoa, okay. That one's just sort of splashed everywhere. Sorry. I didn't mean to disrupt you, see, with the upcycling. Um, but these uh, these bent, bent spoke cans can get a little bit wild. Um, you guys probably remembered I did a, I did a review on the bent spoke uh, IPA. So this is actually the bent spoke Barley Griffin uh, Pale Ale. Okay, so um, it's a little bit lighter and easier to drink than the, than the IPA. Uh, but these these ring pulls, as you can see, it pulls basically the whole top of the can off. Uh, so that one just exploded in my face. But hey, you're sitting in front of the fire, and that's you know it's all part of the fun, isn't it? <laughs> Absolutely, it's probably not the first time, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. So put one of your cups there. Um, let me pour you a beer, Steve. These can be a little bit tricky to pour. Um, we've got the plastic cups these time this time, uh, guys. So just wanted to show you guys how these how these beers pour. Grab that one and um, get straight into it. You know, let us let us know what you think. Uh, I know we had one of these earlier this afternoon and, and you thought it was you thought it was okay and you actually had a, a bit of um, what's the word? Um, a little bit of uh, feedback. Feedback I guess on, on the beer, um, which was quite surprising. Which is so, what this is all about, surprisingly enough. <laughs> so, I, I definitely agree. I'll, I'll just pour mine while you're gathering your thoughts again. So there's that one there. So um, I I actually quite like these uh, these Bent Spoke Brewing Co. Um, these beers. So this is a Canberra Pale Ale, um, 1.2 standard drinks. Uh, so it's a quite quite a lowish alcohol percentage. If I can find it on this can, you never know where they're they're hiding it. Uh, but I think it's something like 4.5 um, percent, some, something like that. I, I saw it I saw it the other day. Uh, Might have been on the packaging. Um, so, so it's quite, quite light, quite refreshing. Um, you know, what, what are your thoughts on it? I might, might leave this one up to you. I'm not going to say too much. Uh, look for a craft beer, and I know you already know my thoughts on craft beers as opposed to commercial beers, which uh, <clears throat> I'm more of a fan on. For a craft beer, it's refreshing. It's got that hoppiness that you, you can really, uh, um, you, you can taste that, that craft beer flavour. 
but I, I, I don't want to call a generalization amongst the craft beer um, palette movement, but, but it is, mm. and um, um, it's it's not it's not hard to deal with from a, a commercial uh, palette flavor point of view. Mm. Um, it's light. It's 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 quite easy to drink for a craft beer. I don't mind it. Yeah. yeah. So I think, I think, I think this is quite quite light. Um, you can see it pours, you know, um, not as light as what we were drinking before with the um, uh, with the stone and wood, uh, but it's not as dark as the as the four pine. So you can see it's somewhere sort of in between. Um, you know, it is it is a little bit more maltier than 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 what you'd expect. But as Steve was saying, um, it, it is quite dry, um, and, it, and it's not very hoppy. Um, you know, I'm not sure how they do this one, whether they dry hop it or uh, maybe they don't leave the hops in there for, for long enough. Maybe, maybe they put a little bit less in, but you know, I think they've, I think they've done a really good job. I, I, I quite like it. Um, ben Spoke is a very popular beer um, in, the, in the craft beer sort of uh, movement. Um, and and what, we've, what we've got here is, I, I was gonna say it's, uh, it's Queensland versus New South Wales because we've got the maroon can and the, and the blue can. Uh, and and it's, it's pretty close to that because the, the next one here, Steve, is actually a craft beer from Green Beacon, uh, which is in Queensland. It's in Brisbane. It's in Newstead. Okay. And uh, this one here, I'd, I'd like to say it's from New South Wales, but it's actually from Canberra. Okay. Which is a state inside of New South Wales. So, you know, it might be controversial, controversial but it's, it's basically New South Wales. So we're, we're basically <laughs> reviewing Fair Queensland enough, versus yeah. New South Wales beer. So, um, so, so, I mean, there you have it, um, you know. You I, can I basically think... call anything you want to make something controversial, so <laughs> that's the truth, everyone. <laughs> yeah, so don't, don't drink too much of that beer, Steve. I'm just warning you because up next, we've got the Green Beacon, okay? And I, I know that you have never tried this beer before. I've, I've had a couple of them over, over the years, okay? And, um, and this Green Beacon, um, if you can see the can here, uh, it's called the Windjammer. India Pale Owl, okay, so I've, I've sort of, uh, I can't remember exactly what beers we've tried so far, I mean there's been the Stone of Wood, the Four Pines, there's the Bent Spoke, what did we do on the first episode Steve? There was, there was a couple of other Pale Owls that we did, we, we haven't done anything too crafty, if that makes sense, okay, Whoa. so I, I, don't, I don't know if you've ever tried an IPA, okay, I, I reckon you've tried a couple of Pale Owls in your time, maybe Oh, we did the Bolter XPA, so you've tried an extra pale ale. I don't think you've tried a IPA, which is an India pale ale, okay? Now, this Correct. bad boy has got a little bit of kick to it, okay? Okay, I just want so. to point out that, uh, this one here has got 4.2% alcohol, the vent spoke. All right, okay. Not bad. It's, it is a dryness that I think, uh, um, as much as I kind of enjoy the flavour and taste of that beer, it's not one that I can yep. continue to drink in a session. Okay. Well, that's surprising for me, Steve, because the whole purpose of this exercise, uh, I mean, we haven't got there yet, um, but I was hoping that you were gonna say that the Bent Spoke Pale Ale was quite a sessionable beer and that you could have quite a few of them. Mm. And when you try the Green Beacon, you were gonna say, whoa, okay, hang on a second. This thing's got some kick to it. I can probably only drink one of these. Mm. Maybe, maybe half. Maybe <laughs> maybe none of it. I I, I really don't. I think know, maybe so. that'd be the difference between a commercial drinker and a uh, maybe. I mean, you know, for, craft for, beer drinker. For me, I mean, I, I I really wouldn't say I'm a craft beer drinker either. But you know, just just have a bit of a sip of that and um, gather your thoughts while while I pair Had my a sip. beer. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just gonna put it back. <laughs> <laughs> so. Look, I, I semi-agree with you, okay? I, I, I'm not one to go into these bloody double IPAs and, you know, IPAs and, you know, all, all this type of stuff. Like, it's, it's almost a race at the moment to see who's going to make the, the, the hoppiest beer with the highest alcohol content. Um, you know, you're seeing some beers, like, like this one here, um, I, th I think this is about 6% alcohol volume, okay? So, so in one can, you've got 1.8 standard drinks. Okay, so that's not that's not a session beer. You know that's not easy to drink. You know, especially for someone like you who's a commercial guy. Absolutely. You know, yeah. so it, feel, you know, it feels heavy. It feels heavy to drink. I I agree. It's it's, it's a heavy beer. It's a hoppy beer. It's got a high alcohol content in it. Uh, but I wanted to throw it at you 
um, just to see what your thoughts are. And, and I mean, you, you don't have to say anything if you don't want to, you know. You, you don't have to like it. I mean, it's, you know, it's your, I your taste buds. I, I would never put a, a beer hmm? company down. I, everyone's got different flavors and it's obviously directed at a certain kind of people. Yep. Personally, everybody knows out there that I'm coming from a commercial drinker's background because that's what I prefer. I prefer the lighter flavors. <clears throat> so when it comes to this kind of beer, mm. it it doesn't work with my palate, and that's fine. It's not to say that uh, mm. it doesn't work for someone else. One thing I do appreciate, uh, 1.8 standard drinks. Uh, maybe <laughs> maybe I could manage one if I was short on time. Yeah. You know, if if I needed a buzz just to uh, yeah. you know chill out by the fire. Yeah, which is uh, a nice thing to do, just you know, to but, relax. But coming into winter now, we've got the fire going. This is more of a, you know, heavier beer. Um, you know, it's uh, like for me. I mean, I, I don't, I don't enjoy like the double IPAs and the, and the super hoppy heavy beers. Um, for me, I, I could definitely drink one or two of these. I, I think it's a cracking beer, to be honest. Um, I can't remember from from memory um, where this beer sits in the top fifty, but I think it was somewhere around uh, number twenty. Okay, I think it was. I think it was actually in the top twenty. So, Australia's spoken. You know, they're saying this beer is in the top twenty. So they're obviously not commer commercial beer drinkers. <coughs> okay, the the Ben Spoke Pale Ale was, I think, somewhere around the thirty mark. Okay, so you know what? So you're telling me that uh, the the Green IPA, Beacon, yeah. Green Beacon, yeah. rated better than a, a lot better. Wow. So what are your thoughts on that? <laughs> Do you have any thoughts? Or, uh, uh, or are you complete m mind boggled after that? Uh, I'm a little bit mind boggled, but uh, I'm not everybody. Everyone has different flavor palettes, and uh, you know. But as I said, is free I mean, to make their own choice. You know, it's, it seems like it, these days it's a bit of a race. Like unless you're doing an IPA or a triple or a double or a quadruple IPA or a stout or something big, heavy, and bold that's quite hoppy, you're just not in the running. Like you know, it, it seems like. You know these commercial easy to drink beers are just you know out of the running these days so you know i don't, I don't know i mean that's that's australia speaking to to tell you what what they want i mean i can definitely drink one or two of these i, I couldn't drink more you know there, there's there's absolutely no way that's that's almost two standard drinks so for me one maybe two at a time is is more than enough you know i definitely can't do more than that um so i mean there you have it you know, that's, uh, that's a pale ale versus, versus an IPA. Um, you know, I hope it gives you a bit of an insight. I mean, th this beer pours quite well, good froth on it. It's quite hazy, you know, so they obviously don't filter it. Uh, so it retains a lot of the flavor and the hops um, through, through, through the grain. So it's not chill filtered at all. Um, so, you know, that's, that's kind of our thoughts on these two beers. Um, you know, you know what, let us know what you guys think. Um, if you like the episode, if you like what we're doing, you know, like and subscribe. Um, we want to make this kind of a regular thing now. I mean, now that Steve's made the effort to uh, to cut the table, you know, we've got to get some use out of it. Sounds like a great idea to me. It's just like my haircut. Some people like it, some people don't like it. <laughs> just like beer, right? Well, that's it. Thanks again, Steve. Cousin Steve, the fireman. Appreciate it. You know, thanks to the table. Thanks to the fire. We're having a great afternoon. Uh, thanks again, everyone, for watching in. And um, we'll catch you guys next time. Cheers. Cheers.